Right, so we've been looking at some of these past videos in this Google Analytics series as to how we can either create our own reports, create our own dashboards, import in reports, that kind of thing. In this one, let's go ahead and look at how we can then email those reports out to other people. So let's jump into emailing reports out of Google Analytics. With our custom reports and the dashboards that we've been creating, we can set them up and we can see the information that's valuable and of interest to us, and that's great. What if you've got other people that you want them to know what's going on, you don't necessarily want them to have access to Google Analytics, or, and this is one of the things that I do, is every week on a Monday morning, I have an email that comes through to me of a report that shows me the most visited blog posts of the previous week. So again, that helps me know what's been of interest, what's piqued people's interest, and they've been going to that site. Maybe then that's a piece of content that I could then write about again but in a slightly different way or I can figure out new content that I might want to put together so it's really helpful to have that again come through to my own inbox so I don't have to always be going into Google Analytics I can get a report sent to me so we can achieve this in two different ways we can either do it from a dashboard or we can do it from a report so if I'm on a dashboard here we notice that we have an email option so if I click on email it pops up and instead of dashboard it says email report so it's basically going to take everything that's on the dashboard and it's going to create a PDF and it's going to send it to whoever you set up now um, keep in mind if you have real-time widgets so in other words stuff that's showing what's happening on your site exactly at that moment in time it's not going to include those widgets on the report let's go ahead and close that if I then go to my reports area and let's just pick a report so instead of a dashboard I'm on a report let's wait for that to load and what we've got here is I've got the ability to share. So it's a slightly different button, but if I click on share, it takes us to the same place. So it takes us back to that email report screen. So it doesn't really um, matter. It's going to end up taking you to the same place. So it's going to come from the logged in user that's setting this up. So for my Gmail account, it's going to come from that email address and I want to send it to my own email address and it's going to pull in the subject of whatever the name of the report or the dashboard is on so I might say um, weekly Google Analytics series report and we can see there we've got a PDF you could do Excel or CSV um, and we've got it from that specific um, report and then the frequency how often do you want it to go out just one time in which case it'll go right now do we want it to go daily weekly monthly and so on so if I pick weekly we're then saying okay well what day of the week do we want it to go out on Monday Tuesday and so on and then any advanced options how long if we've picked anything other than once how long do we want that to happen and you can see there you can set it to go up to 12 months. You can then extend it over and over again, but that's the, the time frame for that. And I might say, here is a report for you to check out, whatever I want it to be. And I'm gonna, gonna say, no, I'm not a robot, and let's go ahead and set it to go out. If we then go ahead and when we receive the email, we can see, here's what it's going to look like. And this is whatever text you put in there that would go in the body of the email, but you'll always get this other stuff that you cannot control. Um, and then we can go ahead and we can see the PDF and we can review it or download it or print it or whatever we might need to do with it. Now, if you ever want to edit the email, what we can do is we can navigate to the admin area. And then what we can do is we can view our scheduled emails. And here we can see all of the emails that are currently scheduled. So there's the one that um, that I just set up. Here we can see what I was talking about in terms of every week on a Monday, I get the top 25 blog posts from the previous week. 
Now, if I want to make changes to it, I have actions here. I can extend it. So at the minute, the end date. Oh, actually, it's already it's already stopped. So the end date, I can extend it. Oh, no, sorry, 2021. So I could extend it further. And what it will do is it will look and see, OK, well, you've got this set up for 12 months. Um, and this is as far as you could now extend it to would be June 11th of 2021. So I can only extend it as far out as up to 12 months, depending on where we are at right now. Um, if I wanted to edit something specifically about the email, I can click on the subject. And now I could go ahead and I could do things like changing the subject. I could change who it goes to, the day of the week, the frequency and, and so on. So I could I could edit and update things that way. So if you haven't already, consider setting up some of your reports to be emailed out on a weekly or monthly or daily basis, especially if it's something that you're trying to track that's fairly new and you're kind of wanting to see what's happening. Maybe you've just launched a new product or a new blog series or whatever, then maybe a daily email would be helpful to be able to see well what happened yesterday or, or whatever it is that you've set up on that report so hopefully that helps go ahead and start scheduling out some emails hi i'm megan walker thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it if you don't want to miss out on any other content you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe and if you want to watch the next video you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started thanks again